Hello, my name is Josh, and I will be helping you determine the areas and how many watts are associated with it when doing a house calculation, or in other words, a calculation for a single dwelling. We're going to be referencing rule 8-110. And if you look at this diagram, you see that when we reference 8-110, that the living area designated for 8200 and 8202 shall be determined from the inside dimensions and include the sum of 100% of the top floor plus 100% of the main floor plus 75% of the basement area. Let's do an example. In 8 to 100, which states that the calculated load for a service or feeder supplying a single dwelling shall be based on the greater of item, item A or B. All right. So, item A, we're going to be doing all these calculations for. When we're calculating the basic load, it is going to be 5,000 watts for the first 90 meters squared. And then we're going to have an additional 1,000 watts for each 90 meters squared or portion thereof in excess of 90 meters squared. Okay. And this really allows for the general receptacles and lighting loads throughout the house. And what does that look like? In the example, we're going to have a main floor that is eight by nine meters the upper and basement floors will have the same dimensions as the main floor. And so the question is, what is the total living area of the house? For starters, we'll use our main floor, eight by nine times one or 100%. That's 72 meters squared. Then we'll do the upper floor, eight by nine times one, 72 meters squared. And then the basement, 8 times 9 times 0.75. Remember, 8-110 states that it's 75% of the area below the ground floor. We take those numbers and add them up, and we get a number of 198 meters squared. Then we go to 8200 AI, and we see that for the first 90 meters squared, we're gonna have 5,000 watts. So we take 198, subtract 90, that's 5,000. We're gonna add another 1,000 watts for the next 90 meters squared portion. So we take 108, we minus 90, we get 18 meters squared left over. We have one more portion. So we add another 1,000 watts. And then we add those together and get our basic load of 7,000 watts. And that is how you calculate the basic load in a single dwelling.